about sex. I like that. That's, that's that's what? I can't tell you. Can't Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Miss, can I got to be I choose this is an intergenerational mentoring program. It's a collaboration between our social service agency, Search and Care, the local high school in East Harlem, Central Park East High School, and Community Healthcare Network. Together, we attempt to give teens a better opportunity to make the best choices possible. Make these slippers, <laughs> socks, and sweat like, Okay, so they say, oh, you, the person asks you to come over, you already know, like, oh, that's going to happen. But sometimes, you just want to be with the person. You don't want that yeah. to happen. You just want to be with them. Even though you know, like, okay, this might happen, but if I could control myself, then... Well, what if you can't control yourself? But so I here's can. the question. Let's say you're in a situation, <laughs> and you oh. think that, like, okay, if I go over, this might happen, but I don't want this to happen. <laughs> I feel like I might get turned on, so it might be harder to say no. What are some things that you guys could do to help? Tell them, them you're on the period. They won't bother. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that is not right. You want to know why it don't work? Because guys be pulling for the pad nowadays. No. <laughs> 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 of course, we're a small school, 487 students. We probably have about 40 students, you know, in the I Choose program. And I want to say those that have participated, I want to say 98% of them have gone on to higher education. And they do come back. They come back for Unity Day and they let me know what's going on, update. They come back faithfully. Yes, they're moving on to bigger and better things. And it's taught them also social skills, you know, because you're now interacting not only with senior citizens, but other ethnicities as well. From the perspective of the students, I think that the link between schools and clinics can be so huge um, and scary and to not have that face of somebody that they know and trust be able to kind of help guide them through the process of coming to the clinic the first time, I think that's a big, that would be a big lack um, and a big miss if that wasn't available. It's a really unique program in that I haven't ever worked with anything else where choice is such a big, such a broad topic in in terms of how the program runs, right? So like, not only choice with family and other issues and psychosocial issues and stuff, um, and then tying it in with the senior mentors and then also the pregnancy prevention program and STI prevention aspect of it is just, it's just really different and unique. I started working right away. Okay, different jobs. Oh yeah, gee, I, I went for uh, <laughs> I went for one job, and it was selling um, vibrating cushions, and you had to take the. Cushion. This is not sexual, right? No. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> so we alternate between the intergenerational conversations between our clients as senior mentors and these health workshops. When the seniors are talking to the kids, it's really more of a discussion. It's not a lecture. And we, all, we, bring, to, we bring to the fore a topic of discussion. And then from there, we, we will take off and it always relates back to the individual seniors' life experiences, which can be very interesting to these children. And, um... Here's a man who says, I'm going to pay the rent, I'm going to do the cooking and the shopping and the cleaning. All I want is for you to be there with me. It'll, you'll have a honeymoon the rest of your life. Wow. So, that's, doesn't that sound like a nice pack? Yeah, that's what they all say. Yeah, but you're smarter, you're smarter than I was, because you see it. I didn't. See, I didn't reject them. This is another reason why you say it's okay to say. It's okay to say no, right. Okay. 
I've had a lot of varied experiences. Not all of them were good. And I didn't have anybody who had told me anything. Everything I learned, I learned the hard way, having problems. Mm -hmm. uh, I became very wise because of the problems. Um, but yeah, I think it's important for them to hear, to learn, uh, just to know that somebody else has, has gone through something, something of what they're going through, and that the outcome can be different. It doesn't always have to be a catastrophe. Like, I mean, if you know the answer to it, you shouldn't ask. But, like, if you're curious about knowing, then she can't. You can ask her. And they got a cut. Oh, I was somebody about you. There's no way to live. That's That's too hard. Like, you don't. I'm just saying. She might get excited. He likes to say it. Give me that. Don't get 18 So, but it's safer. Like, you don't. How? You don't get judged that's like. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 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 you're pretty in between. No, it's not explaining it. Can I address it? Mm -hmm. So, like, it's like, you see how you say you don't get judged? People could be like 27. You could still get judged just for having kids outside of marriage. Some families are like, oh, you're not even. Oh, you're not married. It doesn't matter how the judgment is. Yeah, judgment is like. Yeah, no. It could be any age.